Hello everybody, I am here with yet another collection update, as I usually do have a collection update. Yeah. Okay, anyway, um, now that I'm done being an idiot, um, I got CDs for you and a couple, and then some other stuff, but uh, mostly CDs, as usual. Yeah, so I'll just cut right on into it. Um, first off, this is Cult de Ghouls newest album. Hang on, what's the name? Coven, or Evil Ways Instead of Love. This is a great album. Um, this is, like, God tier Polish black metal to me. Um, Spectre Sorrows is a huge one. Oh, no, 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 it's not Spectre Sorrows. Spectres Over Transylvania is a EP that I basically worship, and, uh, this is just great. So, this, expect this to be super high on my list. Mm, great. I need to buy it. Anyway. Uh, I saw Napalm Death with the Black Dolly Murder Abnormality and the Misery Index on Thursday. So, uh, I picked up a, a Napalm Death patch right here. I actually got this one and the red one. Um, but the red one is on my vest and I didn't show it because I'm going to be making a vest video once it's done, which is about six patches from now um so that should be pretty soon hopefully but yeah picture of this in red and then i got a black dolly murder bottom rocker it's a picture of the logo as a bottom rocker um that's all i got for patches and uh yesterday i saw the band the the tedeschi trucks band with amy helm who is amy helm is the daughter of levon helm from the band, so, uh, yeah, that was a really cool thing to see, I wish I would have bought their CD too, but I didn't want to spend all of my money, because then I wouldn't be able to buy other metal CDs, so the first one I got at the show is Revelator by the Tedeschi Trucks Band, this is their debut album, um, I've only heard a couple of tracks off of this one, I've heard Midnight in Harlem, um, Bound for Glory, uh, and uh, love is something else to say. <laughs> this is really good. Uh, Southern rockish jam, very very jam band esque. There's Derek and Susan. Uh, yeah, if you don't know these guys, and you're into just female fronted jam bands, I guess. <laughs> There's not many of them, you know. It's 12 people in the band. That's all of them. <laughs> This is great. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, check it out. So I know a lot of you guys aren't, so I'm just going to shut up about it. Or at least that one, because I bought their other one. This has made up my mind. This is their second album. Uh, this is great. This has the song, uh, Do I Look Worried, Idle Wind. Uh, Whiskey Legs, Made Up My Mind is the title track, and it's awesome. But yeah, I really dig this album cover a lot. And uh, here's the inside. And yeah, awesome. Same band perfecting their arc. That's it for the non-metal. Now all I got is metal, so don't worry, guys. First one I got is Bondage Goat Zombie by Belfigor. Uh, Belfigor is an Austrian black death band, which I'm sure all of you guys already knew, so I don't need to explain too much. Uh, yeah, weird art as usual from Belfigor. Everything you'd expect, you know? And, uh, there's the CD, and the second CD is a couple of live clips, a rehearsal one, some other stuff. It's cool. Uh, I was really in this mood, so I had to pick it up, and I was super glad I did, because it was like seven bucks. Brand new, still in the package, which is strange. Uh, next one is a band that I'm a big fan of, as of probably the past couple of months. This is Woods 4 by Woods of Ypres. Uh, Woods of Ypres is like a blackened kind of gothic doom band from Canada. Um, just, I love these guys, honestly. They're so good. David Gold died a couple of years ago. I think 2011, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is the song I was buried in Mount Pleasant Cemetery, which is a song a lot of people know. So, uh, yeah, I don't really think that I need to talk too much. If you don't know them, look up that song, and you'll probably wind up liking them. If you like something like... I don't know if you like like Danzig and Latane mixed together. 
not even really too much of Watan because that song's mostly clean vocals. They used to be like a melodic black metal band, but yeah, here's Woods Eat Break. What's Woods for? Next is Abnormality with Mechanisms of Omniscience. This is brutal death metal, technical brutal death metal, sort of. Um, Gorgasm esque, uh, suffocation esque, stuff like that. Um, from Massachusetts, I saw these guys open up, and they're female fronted, which is very cool. She's a very sweet girl. She's a super cool girl. Uh, I got to talk to her a little bit about some some old school death metal and stuff, uh, and I got her to sign this for me. But the cool part is, I met the bass player, and uh, we we're bonding over typo negative and uh, Judas is scary, and uh, the band Super Christ. He's super into Jesus Iscariot, which is really cool, and he's also a huge typo negative fan like myself, even though I've never seen them on this channel, because I don't own any of it, and it's kind of a pain in, pain of mine, because I don't order very much. I order a little bit, but not too much. But yeah, this is Abnormality. Check this out if you like Suffocation or Gorgasm or Cryptopsy or anything like that. Next one is another band that I saw. I don't need to explain. This is Classic Grind. This is Scum by Napalm Death. I don't need to explain this one at all to you. Oh, this is the Digipack reissue. Very cool. Before Barney was in the band. Uh, next is this, continuing the core. This is Miss Machine by the Dillinger Escape Plan. It's like a jazz core kind of band. I don't know. Hardcore. I don't even know what to call them, honestly. They're so strange. But uh, this comes with a DVD. And um, my friend bought this for me because it's one of his favorite bands. And he wanted me to get really into it. And it was five bucks, so he bought he bought it for me, and he said, "If you're not gonna buy this, I'm buying it for you." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> so uh, here we are. I've heard this is a lot more chaotic than melodic. Like their newer stuff is pretty melodic. So uh, hopefully, I'll get really into this. And that is the Dillinger Escape Plan. Got three more for you guys. This first one, I had to order this. It was like a dollar or something on Amazon, and I was. I was all over it. This is Field of Steel by Steel Panther. This is great. I oh, this band's so dumb. It's awesome. They're just they're just glam band. They're just glam bands, but they don't they don't take it seriously. Obviously, um, they have really great songs like uh, Asian Hooker and Fat Girl, Yarshi Blows, and uh, Girl from Oklahoma. It's just it's great. Check out Steel Panther if you like stupid funny bands that are pretty catchy and just great. Check these guys out. Next one is a Finnish folk metal band called Insufferum with their One Man Army. This is their newest album. Um, this is the Digipack version that I got on a trade. Uh, cool Digibook. Digibook reissue. Or not reissue. Digibook version. Oh my god. And then it comes with some bonus tracks on disc 2. This one's up here, of course, and, uh, yeah, this is epic. This is just, like, melodic death metal with some folk in it, and that's, like, the only way that I could talk about Insufferium. They're not folk metal to me. They're, like, a melodic death metal band with folk and the elements, but I don't know. I know their older stuff is a lot more folk metal-based, like, that epic sound, but, um, yeah, this is, like, melodic death metal with <laughs> folk in it, so if you're not too big in folk, me uh, folk metal, I think these... This album and these guys would be the way to go. I saw Metal Blade, I didn't know that. And The Ender, which is my second favorite death metal band of all time. This is The Apostasy by Behemoth. Um, I'm an enormous fan of Behemoth. Nurgle is the reason I learned to death growl. Um, right there. And uh, yeah, this is great. There's this, the song At the Left Hand of God is my favorite song on this one. Um... It's just all around great. There's when they play it live, they do it back and forth between the uh, three string players, and it's really cool. Um, I haven't seen them live, but I'm going to soon, hopefully. And yeah, this is not my favorite, but it's one of them. Demigod's probably my favorite. Um, maybe I can't remember the other one's name that I'm thinking of, <laughs> but those ones are my favorite. But uh, yeah, this one's great too. This is the Apostasy by Behemoth. So that is everything I got for you right now, guys. I got a couple of things coming in the mail, so uh, I'm going to have one of these again soon, hopefully, and I'm probably going to talk a little bit for a while, I don't know. But yeah, this is everything I got for you guys, so keep it greasy.